Uh, this is a judge's worst nightmare. Hello, and welcome to the beginning of day four. And before we get started, I just want to mention something really quick. Just before I began editing this video, I saw that another YouTube channel uploaded an interview with Nick Mew's twin brother. The channel is called Christina Randall, and she certainly doesn't need any help from me with her 1.6 million subscribers. But if any of you haven't seen this interview yet, you've got to watch it. Because Mew's twin brother goes into lots of detail about their past, growing up in Romania, his family being watched by the KGB, and then moving to America. He also tells us why he was not in the trial. Trust me, you've got to see this video. But before you go do that, let's check out more scumbag testimony. Uh, we're back on the record, State versus Mew. Uh, the attorneys are present. Uh, Mr. Mew is present. The jury is present. Uh, we are ready to resume the testimony. Uh, Mr. Smestad, uh, who is the next witness? Janelle Duxbury. Ms. Busbury, would you please come forward? Please face the clerk, raise your right hand. She will administer the oath. <laughs> Please have a seat in the witness chair, Mr. Smestow. I always state your name for the record, please. Janelle Duxbury. How do you spell your last name? D-U-X-B-U-R-Y. Uh, what do you do for a living, Janelle? I work at a factory. Um, what town do you live in? St. Croix Falls. Uh, in Wisconsin? Yes. Um, do you recall uh, July 30th of 2022? Yes, I do. Were you part of the Carlson family group that was tubing down the Apple River on that day? I was. Are you related to the Carlsons? No. A uh, friend of the family? Yes. Do you recognize that? I do. Uh, can you tell us what it is? It's a photo of all of us together. All right, and are you in this picture? I am. I am in the black swimming suit. <coughs> all right. Are you drinking or not drinking? In that photo, I am not drinking. Okay. Is it fair to say that you did have some drinks that day, though? I did. Can you tell us what you had to drink? Uh, we had stopped at a riverbank. I got sh offered a shot of... Butter scotch schnapps. They invented schnapps, the crack of alcohol, right? For all the people who want to get fucked up but don't like the taste of it, new bubblegum schnapps. They're pouring down that fucking bottle. I got fucking bubblegum schnapps, I'm fine. Half an hour later, driving home with the Tasmanian devil in the backseat of the car. Butter scotch schnapps, and then I had, I believe it was a Trulies or a Budweiser. Actually, it was probably both. I cannot remember exactly what I drank. I you know had. how many drinks you had? Uh, for sure the one shot and probably a total of one beer. I had been trying a different flavors of everybody else's, but I never finished the full beer of my own. Do you feel like you were impaired that day? No. All right. At some point uh, while your group was going down the river, did you come across a disturbance of some sort? We did. Uh, what did you see when you first noticed the disturbance? I was uh, laying back in my inner tube and I was taking a little nap and all of a sudden my friend Riley had tapped me on the shoulder saying, hey, let's go check it out. So I got up and I followed behind her. I could hear a lot of commotion, but I could not make out distinctive um, voices or what they were saying or anything. And um, yeah, that's how it started. Uh, when you followed Riley over, did you hear any any specific words or phrases? I did not hear anything specific. Uh, it was fair to say there was some yelling going on? Oh, for sure, yes. Um, did you see Madison Cohen um, when that occurred? I did. She was already up there All right. by the what time was, I had gotten there. What was Madison Cohen doing? I actually did hear Maddie yelling, um, swearing at the gentleman and telling him to get the F out of here. Okay, um, which, which gentleman was that? Huh. Who, who was she yelling at? Oh, it was Nikolai Mew. All right. At the time, did you know who he was? I did not. You know now? Yes. Um, did you see Maddie uh, yelling at Mr. Mew? Yes. And you heard it? Yes. Did you see Mr. Mew react in some fashion? Um, at first, he was just standing there kind of like looking at everybody. And then um, I could not see his hand punch her, but I could see like his left shoulder had dropped like a little bit. And then I could see, I believe maybe it was part of his elbow because Maddie was impairing my view of everything. Um, but I had seen the right side of her face turn towards me and she kind of stumbled down um, and got back up and then walked away. Did you, did you see Mr. Mew's uh, 
hand or fist make contact with Maddie's face? I did not see it make contact, no. All right. Did you saw the reaction? Yes. Um, after Mr. Mew did whatever he did um, to Maddie, um, what happened next? Um, a lot of chaos and yelling broke out. I remember seeing Dante run up immediately and punch him in the face, yelling, you never hit a woman. I saw Nikolai punch Dante back. Then I believe that I saw uh, Dante hit Nikolai once more. I thought it was a punch, but I did watch the video um, and later found out that they were, that he was smacking him. All right, did you, whereabouts were you standing when, when that all occurred, when Dante hit Mr. Mew? I was a little ways behind Riley. Um, I don't know any of the boys in the group that I was standing next to, but I was standing back a little ways. All right. To the back and to the right of Maddie and Riley, a little ways. Did you see um, AJ Martin get stabbed? I did not. Did you see Dante get stabbed? I did not. Um, do you know who Isaac Schumann is? I, I do. I know of him now, but no, I did not know him. All right. At the time, did, did you see Isaac Schumann get stabbed? I did not. Did you see Riley Madison get stabbed? I did. All right. Um, can you describe what, you, what happened when you saw Riley get stabbed? She had backed up away from the commotion a little bit, and I had seen Nikolai walk up to him. And then he came, and he just, I thought it was like a little punch towards her ribs. And uh, until he had removed his hand, I saw the knife come out of my friend's side. All right, can you describe the knife? It was no more than like two inches. It was very small. All right. That's um, all I could see. And just so I understand, you, you didn't see the knife until he removed it from her body? Correct. What did he do after he stabbed Riley? Um, I didn't pay too much attention to him after he did that. I was a little preoccupied and trying to grab her and remove her from the situation. I did take one last look at him. It looked like he was coming towards me, so I, no, <laughs> and walked away with Riley. All right, did you um, render assistance to Riley? Yes, I did. I got her back to uh, Q and Sheena and told them to take her down river and get help. And then when I turned back around, I had seen Tony standing next to AJ, so I ran up to them and I helped Tony drag AJ to the shore, um, tried to make sure that they were as okay as they could be before I went to try to go help as much as I could. Did you see Tony get stabbed? I did not. Um, did, did you see that he was injured when you? I did. Who's the woman up in the upper left corner with the blue and pink swimsuit? That is Riley Madison. All right, in this picture, is she bleeding yet? Uh, uh, no, it does uh, not appear to be so. And who's, who's the person in the middle? Uh, Nikolai. Who's the woman in the black swimsuit up in the upper right corner? That is me. Uh, is that where you were standing when this all occurred? Yes. Is Riley off to your right? Yes, she is. Behind Mr. Mew? Yes. All right. At the time that Mr. Mew stabbed Riley, had she done anything to him in this context? Um, uh, from what I remember seeing, no, I would have sworn that she did not touch him, but after seeing the footage, I saw that she did. Well, I'm talking about oh. this portion, portion of the... I would not be able to pinpoint if that was before or after she was... All right, we're going to yeah. play, continue to play the skills here. Okay. Is that you still in the frame? Yes, sir. Are you looking at Mr. Mew? I believe so. It looks like I am, yes. Um, did you notice anything in his right hand? At that time, no, I did not. You see his right hand? Did you see his right hand moving out like? I did. Injection. I did. Sustained. What's shown in the picture? Did you see that happen as far as Mr. Mew's hand? I'm sorry, what was it? What you see in this, this still, is that what you saw on the river at this point in time? Oh, yes. With regard to Mr. Mew's body? Yes. Um, at this point, uh, is Riley back in the frame? Yes, she is. Yeah, this, now do you, what does she look like? Is she injured? Yes. She um, just got stabbed. All right, and that's my question. Is this the point in the video where you saw Mr. Mew stab Riley Madison? Yes. And you're standing how far away? 
Um, what would that be, about four or five feet? All right, and as you watched the stills go through, well, I'll strike that. Is, is Riley facing away from him? Yes, she is. Prior to Riley being stabbed at this point in time, was she laying any hands on him? That I remembered had seen, no, right. I did not. You testified that when you reviewed the video, you saw at one point uh, Riley <laughs> touching Mr. Mew. I did. It, what, was it at that point or at some earlier point? It was earlier. Did you watch that string of, of frames? I did. Did you see yourself in the, that string? I did. What were you doing? Judge, can we approach for two seconds? Yes. I'm not exactly sure why they're not letting us see the frames, but I just wanted to mention it so that you don't think I'm the one who cut them out. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's continue. Did that string of frames show what you did after she was stabbed? Yeah, you can briefly see me grab her arm and try to get her out. Um, after this all happened, did you call for help? I had, it was after I had turned and told Riley to go to Q and to Sheena. After I had turned around and saw AJ, I ran up to him and uh, I was helping kind of hold him together. And I had looked at Gabby uh, K and I had yelled three times to call the police. I did not have a phone on me that day. All right. I don't have any other questions. <clears throat> Mr. Trofferson? Ms. Duxbury, in terms of you watched the video in preparation for your testimony? Correct. Okay. Um, what I'm going to ask is that you try your best to testify from your, your memory. Understood. Okay. Initially, you said that you were kind of laying in your tube with your head back, just kind of relaxing, right? Correct. Okay. And... You provided a statement to the police on the 31st of um, July, 2022, right? I believe it was, they were, I provided two of them and I thought they were the same day, um, the 30th, but I did provide a statement, correct. Okay, and do you recall initially when you're sitting on the tubes, you're near uh, Quentin Carlson, is that true? When you're on that, when you guys are all kind of floating down the tubes, um, I honestly don't remember who all I was really sitting next to. I, I remember I was sitting next to Riley and my husband at the time, um, but I I really don't remember who I was like right next to. I guess my point is, Quinn Carlson's in your group. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Do you recall him asking um, Dante? and Anthony to go over to make sure that Mr. Mew's not going to get beat up. I do not. Your first recollection is, if this is fair, is Riley saying, let's check it out. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. And you tell the police on the 31st that your first recollection is Dante running up to the suspect and standing between him and the other people, right? Correct. Okay. Is that your memory today? Yes. Okay, so Dante, your memory is Dante is the first one out up to the group of other tubers, right? Yes. All right. And then your, uh, you believe, based on your statement, that you, Madison, and Riley then follow Dante. Yes. Right? I... Yes, I wasn't too familiar with Madison at the time. I had only met her maybe like twice. Okay, but my point I, is, yes. My point is your recollection is Dante goes up first, then the three of you follow him, right? Yes. And I think you hear somebody yell for Anthony Carlson to come up as well, right? Yes, there were several people that were yelling for Tony to get up there. All right. And the goal, according to your statement, was to build a wall, right? Correct. Okay. You have no idea what's happening, do you? Not a clue. Okay. And you say that Dante runs up to Mr. Mew. Is that true? Correct. Okay. To your knowledge, does he have any information as to what's happening? No. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. And you're going to build a wall. Build that wall! without having any information as to what's happening in that situation, right? Correct. Okay. 
you don't hear anybody yelling anything prior to you going up to build that wall, right? I could hear the commotion, but I could not make out distinct um, words. Okay. And you don't know if Mr. Mew's with any other group, do you? I do not. Okay. You, you see him alone, though, right? What appeared to be alone, correct. Okay. And today you say Maddie goes up and is yelling at him, right? Correct. Okay. And is that what you remember telling the police? I, I guess I honestly don't know if I had told them that or not. You go up to build a wall. Why? Because there was a very clear confrontation between the group of children and then Nikolai, so at least to divide the conflict was at least my idea. So you believed at that point there was a confrontation that was taking place, is that right? Correct. Okay. And you hear Maddie yelling at him, is that right? I, I, I do... Um, yes. And you hear she's swearing at him, true? Yes. Okay. Now, in your statement, you initially said that Maddie went up there to, quote, try to mellow things out. You recall that? I do not remember using those choice of words, but... Okay. If I told you that your um, interview with uh, Investigator Schultz is recorded, and on that interview, those are the words that you used, do you have any reason to dispute that? Oh, no. Okay. So, when you say, or when you told Investigator Schultz that Maddie went up there to try to mellow things out, is that true? I had to have said that, but... That's true, yes. I, get, I understand that you said that, that. Do you believe that's what she was doing, was mellowing things out? No. She was yelling at him, swearing at him, right? Correct. Okay. And do you recall her pointing at him to, to go down the river? I recall her pointing beyond him, but yes, she was pointing and gesturing. And yellowing, and yellowing, and yelling, go. Go, yes. Right? Yes. So you took that, if this is fair, as her telling him where she's pointing, go that way, right? Yes. Okay. You, you say that you believe there's a confrontation that's going on, right? Correct. Okay. Do you recall after Maddie, well, let me ask you this, do you see Mr. Mew attempting to speak to Maddie about what's happening? I do not. I Like I said, I really couldn't see much. I'm vertically challenged and everybody I couldn't see past people's heads and shoulders even so tell me about that for a minute I, I missed the first you're what challenged <laughs> I'm vertically challenged I'm short I couldn't see oh, okay. everything okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry so your your height or lack thereof has some it makes it sometimes difficult for you to see things so yeah I couldn't see past people's shoulders or heads or anything no. okay do you see these other tubers, the people that you are saying he's in a confrontation with, Mr. Mew, do you see them after Maddie's there and you guys are there? Do you see him? Do you see them kind of surround him and start to taunt him? Object, Your Honor, to the term surrounds. Um, I did not notice uh, that. I did definitely notice, like, the it, it did seem to be a little taunting, yes. Okay, and the taunting was going on by the other tubers in part, right? Correct. But you don't have a recollection specifically of what they were doing in terms of the taunting? No, I heard some people still yelling. It sounded like some laughter, but it wasn't necessarily distinct. And that was by the time that we had actually gotten up there. Um, right, so when you get up there, then is when you can probably see a little better and hear a little better, right? Correct. Okay. So. In terms of the confrontation, you agree that it is this group of six plus your group, <coughs> yes? Together. Correct, yes. And Mr. Mew's alone, right? 
Yes. Okay. So at that point, is it fair to say that you have some concern because Mr. Mew's alone that this confrontation can go poorly for him, right? Oh, I still had concern it could go poorly for either party. But I see what you're saying, and yes, he was a part of the concern. Okay. And to be fair, part of that is based on him being by himself, true? Correct. Okay. Would you agree that Maddie was in Mr. Mew's face? You'd agree with that? I would agree with that. Okay. She was in his, as it's been described, in his personal space, true? True. Tell me if this is fair. Um, when you see Mr. Mew make contact with Maddie, I know that you had said that it was, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but do you remember specifically, you said he dropped a shoulder, right? You mentioned that? Yes. Okay. Do you see specifically what happens? I could not see, but uh, putting puzzle pieces together, yes, I could tell that he had punched her. Okay, so you didn't see the punch, you just believe based on reasoning that that's what happened. Yes. Okay. When that happens, she's standing in front of him, right? Correct. She's standing in his face, correct? Correct. She's in his personal space, correct? Correct. And do you remember Riley standing next to her? I honestly do not. I thought I was, like, right behind her the entire time. When you say her, I'm sorry. Uh, Riley. I thought Riley was, like, right in front of me the entire time. I do not remember Riley being so close okay but having watched the video now you know that your recollection from your memory isn't correct that is correct all right so now do you know that Riley's standing next to Madison I do okay and you don't see this punch in particular or this movement but you see right or I'm sorry you see Madison do what she had, again, her back was facing me, and then all of a sudden I saw her turn, but it was leading with her head. So her head had turned, so I saw the right side of her face, and then her body had followed, and then she had stumbled down to her knees, um, and she got back up and then started running. I believe it was her and Gabby that started running back to Q and Sheena. You described Mr. Mew in, in your original statement to Investigator Schultz as you described him as standing over her. Do you remember that? Yeah. After you say she goes down. Yeah. I would still stand by that. So you would say that you see her head move. Mm -hmm. She goes down to a knee or goes down. Mm -hmm. He then, does he move toward her? Oh, I wouldn't say he necessarily moves towards her, but he definitely just stood above her. And how? Oh, I was just going to say, she didn't get, like, launched. She literally just kind of did, like, a little 180 and fell down right where she was standing. Okay. She's, if you remember, I'll ask it to you two ways. From your memory, do you remember that she was holding a drink at the time? I didn't. I know that she was holding stuff, but I could not tell you what she was holding. Okay. And how long, in terms of time, passes from... No, this is your memory. How long passes from the time that you see her make her movement and go down until Dante gets involved? Oh, that was like a second. Okay. Do you agree on the... You've watched the video? Yes. Do you agree on the video it doesn't show Madison falling down or going down, right? No, I would agree with that. And you'd agree that what you've seen on the video, she doesn't drop her drink either, right? No, I would agree with that. Okay, and she's holding, I don't know if you remember this, she's holding not only a drink but a vape in her hand as well, right? Okay. Okay. Those things don't fall, right? Correct. Even though she falls, they stay in her hand, right? Correct. And her cell phone, do you remember her cell phone is like up in her swimsuit? But I don't recall, but I'm not surprised. Okay. And do you remember on the video, her cell phone doesn't, fall either right I don't believe so no okay do you ever see her stop and pick up her her glass her sunglasses mm, no I, that wasn't anything that I paid no <laughs> okay. prior to Madison getting in his in mr. Mew's personal space and in his face you don't see him being aggressive true mm, true 
Okay. He doesn't verbally say anything that you would describe as being aggressive, right? Correct. He said nothing at all that I heard. Okay. And you don't see him doing anything physically that you would consider to be aggressive either, right? Um, aggressive, no, but the way he was standing there and just, it was a very expressionless, hollow, almost like a demonic look in his face. Like, he, I don't know how else to describe it other than his, his eyes did not look human. He, very daunting. You sure you didn't wash down some mushrooms with that butterscotch schnapps? You would agree at that point there's approximately 13 people around him, yes? It had to have been somewhere around that number, correct. Okay. Based on what you saw, now I know that you said you didn't see Mr. Mew being aggressive or saying anything. Based on what you said he looked like, were you fearful of him? Yes. Okay. You then say that you see Dante strike Mr. Mew, right? Correct. Okay. And you believe from your memory that Mr. Mew goes down, yes? Yes. Okay. And then Mr. Mew stands back up. Correct. And then you believe that Mr. Mew punches Dante. Correct. Okay. Then you believe that Dante punched Mr. Mew again and knocked him into the water again, right? Correct. You know that's not true after watching the video, right? I do. So can I ask you this? You had, you had mentioned that you were fearful based on the way that Mr. Mew looked, right? Correct. And you would agree that at that point, you've already said there's 13 people around Mr. Mew, right? Mm-hmm. They're in his face, some of them. I would. Objection, Your Honor, mischaracterization of the evidence. Again, members of the jury, you are the judges of the facts. The statements of the lawyers are not evidence. Rely on what the witness says, not what the lawyers say. You've what testified happens? that at least Madison Cohen's in his face. Correct. She has people next to her and around her, right? Correct. They're clearly supporting her, right? Correct. He's alone. Objection has been answered. Overruled. Yes? Correct. She's yelled at him, swore at him, and she's, as you, as you say, she's screaming at him, right? Correct. Okay. Reasonable that he's in fear as well, right? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Do you see A.J. Martin come in after Mr. Mew is punched in the face? Do you see him shove Mr. Mew from behind I did not. You didn't see that? I did not see okay. it. You know after watching the video that's what happened though, right? I do know that, okay. yes. You did or did not see when Mr. Martin, I know you said you didn't see Mr. Martin shove him. Did you see Dante come up and strike Mr. Mew in, a, in the face for the third time? Did you see that? I did not see that. Okay. But you know from the video that's true, right? Yes. Okay. You were asked by Investigator Schultz, when the suspect was stabbing people, what were those people doing? And your answer was, nobody was touching him, right? I believe that was my answer, correct, yes. Okay. And you know that's not true though, right? Obviously, yes. You know from watching the video that everyone that we can see on the video that's injured had put their hands on Mr. Reed, right? Objection, Your Honor. It's Characterization. I'll say the same thing. Jury, you are the judges of the facts. What the lawyers say is not evidence. Listen to the witnesses. You know that from watching the video, right? Um, I know that Tony did not touch him in a violent way, but that is correct. Okay. And you didn't put your hands on him at all, right? I did not. And nothing happened to you, right? The way he was looking at me and the way he was starting to step towards me, it is all speculation, but I was a thousand percent sure I was going to get a knife in the back as I was running away with Riley. Did you get a knife in the back? I did, obviously did not. Did he touch you in any way? No, he did not. And you also agree that um, you told police that your group had formed kind of a semicircle around him. Is that right? 
Correct. Okay, and you stand by that. True? I do. Okay. At the time you gave your statement to police, did you view Madison Cohen as kind of the peacekeeper here? No. Okay. You mentioned that you you said that she was there to mellow things out. Right? Again, that was just a, a very poor choice of words. I, but yeah. I remember saying that. Sorry. Because it was actually the opposite, right? Objection, Your Honor. This is materially covered. Ask and answer. Sustained. Let's move on. Do you have a specific recollection of seeing Riley get stabbed from your memory? I remember seeing the knife exiting her body. Okay. Do you have a specific recollection of what Riley was doing prior to that? Prior to that? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, do you mean like moments before the knife sure. entered? Uh, she was just standing there from my recollection. You don't have a recollection of her moving toward Mr. Mew? No, I do not. Okay. You do or do not have a recollection of seeing Isaac Schumann? Um, uh, I do not know. Okay. So, and you, when you say you don't, you don't have a recollection of seeing the interaction that he had with Mr. Mew? That is correct. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Duxbury. Mr. Smestad? Sorry. It's okay. Mr. Smestad, do you have any more questions? I don't, Your Honor. All right. Now, Ms. Duxbury, you may Thank get you. up and leave. Uh, please see the witness court. So out of the entire scumbag group of tubers, I think this girl was the most honest, or at least she tried to be. She was incorrect about a lot of things, but I think a lot of that is due to the fact that she was totally sloshed. She may have even been a little tipsy during her testimony, but she tried to be honest. She certainly tried a lot harder than the rest of the people in her group, but I don't suppose I'm going to spend a lot of time going over her testimony since we didn't really learn anything here. Other than the fact that she was seeing demons that day? So instead I want to talk about something else. I've been having a conversation with a viewer named Father Mayhem in the comments of one of these videos. I'm not even sure which one it is. But Father Mayhem, I indeed tried to reply to your last response three times and YouTube will not let me say anything. He asked me for a link to the subreddit for this case. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to post links of any kind anywhere, even in my descriptions. But I can tell you that it's called r slash Apple River Stabbing. And I've been posting in that subreddit almost daily since I started making these videos. And if you decide to go there, just a quick word of advice. Stay respectful to those people, even if they start calling you names and being completely disrespectful to you. Because at the end of the day, their opinions don't really matter anyway. I mean, we're talking about some Reddit whores. I mean, their heads are full of garbage. And before you say, well, Mushmouth, you're on Reddit. Isn't your head full of garbage too? No, it isn't. I'm on Reddit, ironically. Thank you very much. But anyway, I've got a very busy weekend ahead of me, so I'm going to go for now. But I'll be back really soon with the next witness. I believe it was the nurse who was trying to help Isaac. Hopefully that will prove to be interesting. See you soon. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you.